Welcome to Gossman Knives YouTube channel. Today I'm going to go over uh, big knife use, uh, some hit on some things that I didn't mention in the first video about big knives. And the main focus is going to be on lanyard use on big knives. There's two different ways uh, you can attach a lanyard to a large knife. Uh, a rear lanyard and a forward lanyard. The forward lanyard was popularized through the blade sports and the cutting competitions. On the um, rear lanyard, it's pretty much just a piece of cord with a knot on the end of it. And the way I, uh, the way I do it, I'm going to take my watch off. So it doesn't get in the way. Is run my hand up through the bottom like this, and then twist it a couple of times till you get it tight enough where you can grip the handle. Uh, if you get it too tight, it's going to uh, bite down on your wrist a bit, so you have to adjust it. Plus, adjust the size that you need it to be for your hand, for your wrist size. And with this type of lanyard attachment, it keeps the knife from falling out of your hand. Because when you're wielding a knife this size, you want to have a way to secure it in your grip. So that when you're going like this, it doesn't fly out of your hand and end up sticking in somebody if someone's nearby. And it also helps you keep a pretty firm grip. And that way you can chop on a piece of wood. This wood's pretty much rotted, but um, that way you can keep a good grip on the knife when you're chopping with it. That's one type of lanyard, the rear lanyard. Um, it's not as secure as the forward lanyard, which is what I prefer now. Both lanyard holes come standard on my large knives. Um, and I usually try to tell people to use the forward lanyard uh, because it's, it's a very effective way to keep the, the knife in your hand. Now on the forward lanyard, of course the lanyard hole is in the front there. And then what I do is I knot it close to the handle and you put your hand in so that the cord is above laying across the top of your hand like that and it's very effective at keeping the knife in your hand even if it comes out it doesn't go anywhere you can see how the knife is not going to going to go anywhere. This also gives you the opportunity when you're using it to have a loose grip so you don't end up with blisters or hot spots. You can hold the, the handle loosely and it's much more effective than a rear lanyard. I much prefer this type of lanyard on a large knife. So you can see your hand, it, you get a steady grip or good grip with this type of lanyard and you don't have to worry about the knife flying out of your hand. The only drawback to it is when you sheathe the knife, the, land, the uh, cord's going to go down in if it's a pouch type sheet. Now the sheath I use is from an Ontario Artac, so it's not that big of an issue. I can leave it on there without any problem. Now the other thing with large knives, and this has been done a lot on YouTube, but I'm just gonna show that it can be done with even a knife of this size, 10 inch blade, quarter inch thick, the one stick fire. I can effectively get some pretty good curls off of this wood, even with a large knife.
Okay, that's enough to do a quick uh, start of a fire. And uh, what I have here is some bark. I'm not even sure what kind of bark it is, but I got some uh, real fine bark shavings here just to get this thing going. There you go, you can uh, even do the one stick fire with a large knife. But the important thing is when you're wielding a large blade like that, is to have some type of lanyard attachment on it. Because it definitely is a safe way to go. And the forward lanyard is my favorite. It works very well. You can see right there, uh, that was pretty quick getting a uh, fire going using a large blade like this, getting the curls off. And, uh, you know, you could even use your cotton ball and Vaseline to get that started. So that's pretty much all I wanted to uh, touch on in this video that I didn't mention in the last video. And uh, if you're interested, once again, if you're interested in any of the large knives I make, Check out my website, gossmanknives.com. You can see uh, quite a few photos on there, all the specifications, pricing, and whatnot. So I hope this uh, was an enjoyable video. I know these things have been done so many times on YouTube, but it's fun. I enjoy it, and uh, I wanted to show the effectiveness of a large blade, especially one that size.